I'm delighted to invite the chairman to confer the Honorary Fellowship of University of the Arts London upon Rafe Fines. Thank you, Vice-Chancellor. Thank you. My profound thanks to the University of the Arts London for this honorary fellowship. I'm delighted and I'm honored. I attended Chelsea School of Arts from 1981 to 1982. I bicycled from Putney to the Chelsea Arts School Annex at Bagley's Lane, Fulham, for a year's foundation course. Somehow, the vitality of that course gave me a freedom. It was robust and it was provoking. I mean, we, the students, were provoked to think and to ask questions and to keep asking them. And I feel a great sense of gratitude for the experience of that foundation course. I would like to extend my congratulations to all of you who are graduating today and to my fellow honorees, Gillian Wearing and Professor Stephen Scrivener. The true artist will let his wife starve, his children go barefoot, his mother drudge for his living at 70 sooner than work at anything but his art. Those are the words of George Bernard Shaw, and I agree with them. I got to say them on stage earlier this year, and there was no acting required. He also goes on to say, the artist's work is to show us ourselves as we really are. Our minds are nothing but this knowledge of ourselves. As painters or designers, photographers, sculptors, writers, conceptual artists, musicians or actors, let us never stop asking questions, never stop provoking each other to interpret, to see, to express, to give utterance, and to bear witness. And maybe we have to admit that there are responsibilities in what we do as the world now seems about to fall on its face. The voice of the artist, I believe, the work of the artist, must be uncensored, unfettered, and free to speak, must be free, must be free. Thank you. <laughs>